What's up, everybody? So this is a follow-up video from the Los Alamos National Lab. So, Didon said that uh, this thing, uh, this uh, vacuum tube, was a uh, triode, a power triode, 100 watts, and he said it has uranium glass on the bottom. So I went and I clicked on the link that he found, and uh, yes, indeed, it does have uranium glass on the bottom. And so I thought, hmm... I think we'll find out if it has any goodness to it. So here's my background. Alright. Sorry for the poor quality of this video. I'm on my phone. It just makes it easy. So here it is. This is background. Don't have too much going on. Now let's bring it up to the bottom side of this triode and see what we get. So yes, indeed, that uranium is indeed a little bit radioactive. That's pretty darn cool. I actually don't own any uh, uranium glass or any other type of coated glass. I know they they used to put all kinds of coatings on uh, on a different type of uh, eating well wear. I don't even remember. I used to remember. But basically, they used to coat this uh, plates and stuff in this kind of stuff. It's kind of wild. Look at that. So let's go on the side and just see how oh, the poor focus on this thing. You know, it's not, not really getting through the glass. It's on, It's hard to see, but it's only coated... Um, about right to, uh, about right to right there, it's only coated. So, I don't think I have any UV things sitting around or I'd, uh, poke some UV at it so we can see it. Let's put it back on the side here. Up it goes. Definitely radioactive. Hey, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That probably helps with the, uh, the ions. The coating must be on the inside of the glass too so I bet the inside of the tube or maybe it's still impregnated in the glass I'm not sure maybe you can find out in the comments let me know in the comments I mean let's see if we can find something UV I doubt I can find something but let's look all right I moved into the lab where uh, we still reading radiation definitely there so, I moved in here. I found this black light. Yeah, I don't ask me why I have this, but uh, I have it. It was in my grandpa's stuff, I think, years ago. Anyway, battery powered. I didn't even put new batteries in it. These are the ones that were in there. It's been in a box for probably eight years. But it works. So I'm going to turn the light off. Actually, let me turn the black light on. I'm going to turn the light off, and this is going to be a little difficult to see. Ah, looky there. Oh look at that! Even the even the electrode ends are uh, are coated. Look at that! See that? That's pretty cool. So it looks like looks like it's just coated there on the uh, on the inside of the electrodes. Right where they go through. So that must help with the uh, ion admission. I'm sure it does. But yeah. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Let's put it underneath. Pretty cool, actually. So I wouldn't have known, actually, to uh, I wouldn't have known to look here. But yeah, it looks like those points are uh, also covered with the uranium glass. All right, well there it is. That's the TV dash one twenty seven A, and uh, now we know it does have uranium glass in it. Now I can say I own some uranium glass because I don't have any. Hey, thanks, David. 
All right, peace and love. Have a good day. God bless. Talk to you later. Bye.